Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you how to use MuseScore to uh, upload a song into Evil Studio. That way you can use the sheet music from MuseScore and use the files in FL Studio. That way it's saving you a lot of time. So go ahead and open up to MuseScore, MuseScore.com, and then in the search bar you can go ahead and search your song. I searched up uh, Lingus from Snarky Puppy, a really good jazz rock song. Really love it. Now you're going to have to have an account, and uh, you can either have a 30 day free trial or uh, you can pay for a year uh, for 50 bucks. And that way you can download the files uh, that's necessary for this video, this step. So once you have the song and everything, you're going to go ahead and click download and then open in new score when you click that it'll download for you down here then you click this to open it and then you have the song it'll upload and uh, give you all the notes here if you haven't used it before so uh, basically look up any song like uh, you do this with like for example the new song shivers by Ed Sharon I started working with this uh, this song recently. Haven't finished it, but it's a pretty good song. He put out a new a couple new songs. So uh, while we wait for that to load, uh, once you have it in here, uh, the new score, you can go to File, Export, and then you're going to export it to a MIDI file. So, you're going to click this drop down menu and then select MIDI file and save it. And uh, then we're going to go to FL Studio and you're going to go to File, Import, MIDI file. And then select your file. So, I'll go through the steps. Nah. I guess I won't. But that's what you're going to do. You just go to File, Import MIDI File. And once you upload it, it will automatically separate each instrument into its own individual plugin. So for this, it has nine different instruments. And uh, even it's got the whole drum kit. It will automatically find whatever's closest to the sound. So for the drum kit, uh, it uploaded this standard drum kit and flex here. So after that, uh, this this isn't going to sound that great. It's just going to sound basic like what it would sound like in MuseScore. Just like does not do the song justice whatsoever. So what I do, let me open up my project, what I do with the song. So let's go to the drums. What I do is copy and paste the drums and every single instrument into its own track so that I can edit it and make it whatever sounds I want. So copy it and then go ahead and paste it into the drum track here. So there's a whole drums. Now it's its own track. I can edit it. I can add notes, take away notes, just the volume, the whole shebang. So then I do that for all of the tracks. So instead of it sounding like computer music, now it sounds like this. basically do this with any song and edit the song however you choose. So hope you guys learned something from this video and have fun with that. Alright, have a good one. Bye-bye.